Four weeks paid vacation. All you can need. Hey, boss. Oh, hey, Jared. I was just speaking to Evan about the new senior manager position opening up. I'll be making my decision later on today, so hey, you bring your A-game here. I won't let you down, boss. <laughs> Owen, nice suit. Fits you real nicely. I'll walk in with you. Let me park real quick. Really? That's a handicap spot. You can't park there. Who cares about handicapped people? Besides, I'll be the new senior manager soon, so I can park wherever I want. Excuse me, young man. Can I park there? I have a handicap permit. Absolutely not. I've already parked. Go find another spot. Well, I'm using a wheelchair. You know, it, you know, it would help me out a great deal if you could just- Did you not hear me? I said- Look, don't worry about it, sir. You can have my spot. I'm parked right there, so. Look, this is why you'll never be the next senior manager. You waste your time helping people, but I can do nothing for you. It's like what our company motto says. You should always have compassion for strangers. Oh, please. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I'll see you inside. I'm sorry about that. I'm moving right now. Thank you. You know, if this isn't what the next senior manager looks like, I don't know what is. Not that you would know. Whoa! Where are you turn, man? Oh, would you mind using a regular stall instead? I, I really need to use the bathroom. Can't you see I got here first? Or are you handicapped and blind too? Well, can you see the stall clearly says handicap on it? And it's the only way for me to get my wheelchair in the stall, man. Well, that's not my problem now, is it? If you want this stall, you can wait till I'm done with it. Um, hey, we do have a nearby bathroom with a bigger stall that I can take you to. Really? Thank you so much. But why are you being real nice to me? I just believe in helping people. It's our company motto. So, please, after you. So you're a senior manager here? <laughs> no. I wish. That'd be my dream, but Jared, my coworker you met, mm -hmm. he's probably going to end up getting that position, so. Well, you just keep doing the right thing. Because in the end, a good heart always wins. Here we are. <laughs> oh, thanks. Mm, I heard the promotion comes with the new office. Maybe you can visit me sometime. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Just, just grab me some more. Who even are you? And what are you doing here again? Oh, I came to visit. Oh, no. Can you grab that for me, please? I, I need to take my medicine. Seriously? You people think you're so entitled to everything, don't you? No, not at all. You want easy parking, the biggest bathroom stalls, and for everyone to bend over backwards for you. Do you want me to push you around too? Uh, no, I can... You know what? Never mind. I don't even know why I asked. Come on, Evan. Let's go. It's time to meet with the boss. Thank you so much. Are you serious right now? Come on. What are we always saying here? You should Save it. Look, this is why you'll stay as a low-level associate for the rest of your life. Let's go! Now, everyone, the moment of truth. It's time to announce the person who's going to be promoted. Mr. Griffin, has anyone ever told you how great your skin looks? You just keep looking younger and younger. Well, thanks, Jared. You've always been so good with your words. And now the new senior manager is... Hey! I'm about to be made the new senior manager. Get lost. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. You can stay, Dad. 
dad? Wait, uh, he's your dad? Yeah. And he's the best dad. He's the reason I started the whole company. You see, my dad hasn't been able to walk most of his life. For as long as I can remember, he's always been in a wheelchair. But that's never stopped him from being a great father. Growing up, it hurt me to see how people would treat my dad. They look down on him and treat him like he was somehow beneath them. I'd see it time and time again. People always treating him differently just because of his handicap. But the part that would hurt most was just how inconsiderate people could be. Laughing and staring at my dad as if he had no feelings. That's why I vowed to one day start my own company and use it to help disabled people everywhere. So you see, my dad is the reason I started this company. He's even the reason for our company motto. Always be compassionate to strangers. Wow, Mr. Griffin, that was so touching. And Brian, by the way... Oh, save it, Jared. My dad's already told me how you treated him. He did? Yeah. And he's also told me how nice that Evan has been to him. So that's why I choose Evan to be our new senior manager of this company. <laughs> Thank you for demonstrating our company values. I'm sure this company will be in good hands under your leadership. Wow, thank you so much. You, don't know. you can't be serious. No one deserves that promotion more than me. Look, if you don't give me the senior manager position, then I'm quitting. Well, that won't be necessary. Because you're fired! Now pack your things and go. Evan, when you're ready, I'll show you to your new office. This is ridiculous. Hey, don't be upset. Maybe you can come visit me in my new office sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> thank you again. I really appreciate it. And thank you, sir, for putting in a good word. Oh, it's like I said. You keep doing the right thing. And in the end, a good heart always wins. Why is your dad with the gimp? I don't know. I'll see you girls tomorrow. Look, we picked up your cake for your birthday. We even got it. Oh! Whoa! Oh. My cake! I'm so sorry. I don't want anyone to know he's my brother. I wish I had a normal sibling!